Well, the press conference literally finished up seconds ago. I'm going to show you the scene here first. We do know that two juveniles have been shot. We're told it happened just after 9 p.m. near 400 Pratt. They say police were already here anticipating a busy night with teenagers here during spring break. They say they were breaking up a large fight. They entered the crowd of more than 200 young people. They made an arrest in that fight, and as police were removing the suspect, a discharging occurred. Someone shot two people. We now know it was a 14 and 16 year olds that were shot in the leg and in the back. One is in critical condition. The other is in stable. They're at two different hospitals right now. Now, police say they gave us a lot of info here. They say while ha while this was happening, officers tracked an individual down who was speeding away on a dirt bike, followed that individual to police headquarters. That person on the dirt bike drove into the police headquarters garage and was found with a loaded handgun. That person was arrested. It's unknown their involvement with the shooting, but at the same time, officers tracked down another individual. They were given a description and they found that person at Lida Lumbar. He was also found with a loaded handgun that was actually a ghost gun. That person also arrested and is now a person of interest. Now, at the time of the shooting, there are about 30 officers here. More than 40 were out here at one point saying that they were anticipating this. Take a listen to this press conference that we just heard moments ago. The officers had the wherewithal and the spatial awareness to track one individual who was speeding away on a dirt bike around the corner. That individual was followed all the way to police headquarters where he drove the dirt bike into police headquarters garage and was apprehended inside of police headquarters garage and found to be armed with a loaded handgun. Wow, now we know those two victims, they are thankfully recovering. Something else to note here, the mayor came out for the press conference. He said that due to this incident, they are going to be bringing back the youth curfew in the city. That means this spring and summer, if kids are under 14 years of age and if they are on the street after 9 p.m., they must be with an adult or they will be taken in. Uh, so, of course, we've seen this before years ago, but we haven't seen it for a few years. So, again, that curfew coming back, two children shot here tonight, both recovering. Live at the Inner Harbor, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL-TV 11 News.